Hello my darlings, hello, long time no YouTube video. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uche, in case you forgot, I'm back. How are you guys doing? Please welcome me with open arms, welcome me with hugs and kisses, embrace me please. I've been gone for a minute and I'm not gonna lie in this video, it was given very much beginner. It's giving, have you even ever filmed a YouTube video before? I don't know. But I really wanna get back into the swing of filming on YouTube. YouTube has been heavily neglected and I'm sorry for that, but I wanna start posting my vlogs again, start posting my videos, my makeup, fashion, all the works, all of that stuff. So you guys don't know, I've recently moved house. So I should now be in a space where I can really like set things up and make things work. Anyway, that's not even the point of today's video. We will have to have a catch up video very, very soon. But today's video is going to be a makeup look on this. This is my summertime cute girl, no eyeshadow, no lashes, just a nice, beautiful base. I tried not to do too much because you guys know I have a tendency to do too much, but I tried not to do too much and I think I succeeded. This is definitely like my signature. This tutorial is all about signature, the brows, the dots, the blush. This is just what my technique at the moment that I'm just loving that frames my face in a really beautiful way. I thought I would share it with you because I get a lot of love from you guys on my other platforms. So hopefully you find it helpful. Hopefully you pick up a tip or two. I don't know that I had that much to give you guys, but hopefully you find a little tip or two in there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for still rocking with me, even though I've been gone for a minute. I am back. I promise I'm back. There should be no more unplanned breaks. Just come and chat to me in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how you've been. It's been a minute. Let me know what you want to see. That is very important. Let me know what you want to see so I can bring it to you. You'll see this version of me at the end. Enjoy. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. This is going to be so distracting. Okay, so today we are starting with skin prep. Let's get into it. I'm going to be talking you through the products, plus some new bits like this. This one you guys would not have seen before because this is a little, a nifty little device. Like how cool is this? Okay, so let's start by prepping the skin. Oh no. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Absolutely love this. This works actually really well because it's so thick and creamy for that little device I'm gonna show you. So of course I'm just gonna be doing my simple summer base routine. It's been a long time since I've done a video. So I thought, let me come back with something that we all love for me, a little bit of base. It was wireless this weekend in London. People not from London, wireless is basically a festival. Not basically, wireless is a festival. It's like one of the most popular festivals that happens in London every single year. This year they had it in three different locations. They had it in Findlay Park, which is in North London, Crystal Palace, which is in South London, and then they also had it in Birmingham, which is in like the mid, mid area of England. So I've just prepped my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not gonna go with this device. The reason I'm even talking about wireless is because, listen, everybody knows when you've had a bit too much to drink on the weekend or you've been drinking, alcohol just gives you that puffy face. This is so good for lymphatic drainage. Basic drains the excess, uh, what was it, fluid on your skin. Just gets you nice, nice and snatched. Reduces any puffiness, which we love. I feel like my energy is so slow today. This is why I'm really, really considering what I, I did actually, giving up alcohol. It slows me down so much, I even feel slow. This is nice, by the way, not too much pressure on the skin. I'm sure you guys have seen similar devices on TikTok. Everything's on TikTok. And then this just kind of mimics the pattern motion of fingers. How cool is that? I love to see it. it just helps to de a little bit. I'm fairly sure you could put this in the fridge. I have the other ones that get colder, little glass. You know, those little spheres that people have as well. I feel that this might be a bit too distracting, although it's so hot in here, I think I'm just gonna have to bear it. Cause if I can hear this, then you guys can hear it too. Yeah, those little like spheres, cylinders that you get with the cool sensation just drains the skin. So I've got some fragrances, which are obviously gonna come to about at the end. This guys is like a game changer. And I don't know why no one has ever thought to do this, maybe they have, I just haven't seen it. And of course I got a re-up of like one of my faves. Charlotte for me is really killing the game right now. I cannot lie to you guys, they're really doing their thing. I really, really want to do a simple look, but I just feel that I really struggle to do simple looks. I'm in bondage with full coverage makeup. Honestly, I'm happy to admit that because it's true. You guys know me, I love a two-step priming process. That has not changed. Not a lot of things have changed. Not many things have changed when it comes to my actual makeup routine, which is probably why I haven't done a full blown tutorial on here in a while. I probably should have even asked you guys for questions just to catch up, but I think I can kind of just speak and talk 
off the cuff. So that's my skin all primed. While I'm waiting for that to set in and sink in, I love doing my brows next. To slick my brows down, I'm going to be using the Makeup by Mario Brow Master Hold Gel. This is really, really good. I actually started using this since I've been off YouTube. So of course you guys probably would have never seen me use it before. But it's really, really nice. It really holds your brows in place. Do you guys think the feather brow trend will end anytime soon? I don't necessarily do a feather brow personally, but I do like to slick my hairs down just to keep them in place. I do find that when I do this, it helps with, set, um, with filling in my brow hairs. My brows just always look way more polished, which is weird because the actual look of a feather brow is not polished at all. But I find that my brows look more polished when I do this. I love doing this. I have to be honest with you guys, I feel so out of practice right now, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm coming, I'm going, I'm here, I'm there, so please bear with me, I'm really trying it. <laughs> you might notice that I'm in a new background, guys, I moved, I moved house, so I no longer live with worms, I now live on my own, big girl, scary, very scary, I was always super um, scared of living by myself, but I just think I need this time to face that fear. I don't know, something about living alone just makes me feel uneasy, but I'm really, really loving it so far. You know, I think I'm gonna grow so much in this season of being on my own, or living on my own, I'm gonna grow so much. I've never lived on myself. At uni, I had flatmates. Obviously, at home, I had my parents. And then when I moved out, of course, I had a flatmate. So it's, I've never lived alone before, so it's going to be a very interesting season for me. I'm wondering now if I should, hmm, what kind of look we do? I'm gonna try and do a natural makeup. I'm going to attempt to do a natural makeup. Am I trying to <laughs> Am I trying to do something extravagant? I'm gonna keep it simple, guys. I'm gonna keep it simple. So summer, a lot of us are dashing in and out at the moment anyway, so it's not like we've got heaps and heaps of time to do a madness on our face. I have been awake quite a few times this summer, so I'm currently using NARS Natural Long Wear Radiant in New Caledonian, and I mix it with uh, Macau. So Macau is my normal shade, which is usually, slightly dark for me, just a touch, but I'm mixing it with New Caledonian, which is obviously way darker for me. But it just works out anyway when I, by the time I've, the fact that this is now so much darker means that I'm losing my tan, which is incredibly sad. I've only got dark shades and two foundations, the Too Faced Born This Way and the Natural Long Wear from NARS, this little guy. Those are the two of my favorite foundations. I don't need to get a dark shade in everything. I can just mix my original shade. I just love the coverage of that. Yes, I look scary. I will admit I do look scary, but it will come together very beautifully in the end. For concealer, I'm gonna try this one from Tom Ford. It's in the shade Sienna. Let's see, I like the applicator. Look at the, this is, this is what the concealer looks like. This is their emotion proof concealer. Ooh, there we go. I love the applicator. So let's see what this is gonna look like. The consistency is a little watery, so I'm gonna mix it with Natural Radiant Cream. Do you guys remember this? I haven't used this in years. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this. Just putting that there, because I know the NARS Radiant is very creamy and it's very beautiful, and it has a nice thick consistency, and the Tom Ford one is giving me a bit watery. This is actually gonna be a good time, guys, for us to catch up about new products on the market. So as I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna be talking through, because I've got some new bits here and there actually. One of them I haven't actually used, but I feel like I've spoken about before. I'm also using the Black Beauty Blender. This is my favorite beauty blender of all of them. And yes, the different colors do apply makeup differently. Genuinely, they do. I got the little kit. It comes with a soap, the thing that you use to hold the soap on, and obviously the sponge, and it's this little handy travel case. I love these Beauty Blender soaps. I was sent like a whole pack of them years ago, and then I could just never find them anywhere to repurchase them. I hate when I get sent stuff from other markets, obviously, and then when I go to repurchase it, it's like, it's not here. Okay, that Tom Ford concealer has actually really, really surprised me. I love the way that looks. That looks so pretty. I like that. I might have to add a bit more actually, just because you know, I love some brightness under the eyes. I do love me some brightness under the eyes. But I like that. So I was sent the Huda Beauty, the new concealer that everyone's going on about. I got the shade Praline, but I do actually think the undertone is not right for me. It was working when I was a little bit more tan, but now it's just a little off. I really want to get, I might go on nine actually, now that it's released, because I was sent it before it was released, and then I couldn't find it online to obviously buy my right shade. 
but this is gorgeous this is gorgeous 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 faux filter concealer from huda definitely done too much as always but let that sit in for like two seconds while that's sitting in let's talk about bronzer this bronzer from again from charlotte tilbury the new one i actually have two so i have a brand new big pan one i also have one that guys this bronzer has not even been out for that long look at the absolute state of this i have been wearing the hell out of it i'm going to compare both of them actually so i'm going to compare the contour wand and the bronzer my gripe with charlotte tilbury although they've come a long way the shade range is still not it's just it's just not good enough this one that i'm going to show you this is the dark sis come on so with this i feel like people have been struggling to know how to apply this so i'm going to use my brush straight on my brush straight onto my face So if you want a really beautifully natural, uh, beautifully, if you want a really beautiful natural bronzer, applying straight from your sponge is literally the best shout. However, I'm gonna show you. I think I do still prefer the contour one, guys, if I'm being super honest. The bronzer is very cool tone, actually. The cream pan one is rather cool tone. This one is a bit more, bit more bronzy, which I like, as you can see, because I'm tan it's pretty much faded into my skin, which is just like, and obviously now it's gonna be contaminated by the other one that I just put on. What is this actually called? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. Together, I think they make the perfect bronzer. So if you can tell the difference, this side is a lot deeper. This side is more of a softer, because it's closer to my skin tone. Annoyingly, this is the darkest shade they do. I like to wipe off my lip oil before I apply products around my lip, because otherwise it just migrates. You know one thing about me, I'm gonna do this upper lip business. I'm so gonna just... Love it. I like a soft nose contour, if you can call it that. I like mine soft, I really like mine soft. So yeah, that's the difference between them really. This one, obviously I went a bit more heavy because I put it on the brush but the other product when you apply it straight to your face it's easier to have a bit more control but about how much you put on so you can just dot it, dot it on blend it out dot it on and keep going but those are two different techniques for you this bronzer is very very good but as i just said my only thing is that it's just a, a little too cool, cool tone and i didn't realize until i was obviously comparing it with my other bronzers but i really really love the formula I just wish it was number one, had more of an extensive shade range. And number two, had like a little bit of a warmer one. What I really, really love actually is the Milk Bionic Bronzers. I still love those. The price is moving, I haven't unpacked all my stuff. So I just have the kind of makeup, like my go-to makeup on hand and any new makeup I've got on PR. So I don't have my extensive collection, so it's really hard to compare. But once I start unpacking, I can really get in and like talk to you guys about you know, what I'm loving. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my other concealer. Also, I heard, you know, I love that Morphe E8. They're discontinuing the whole E range. I'm like, why? So at the moment, actually, it's a good thing because if you go into Morphe, I don't know if it's online as well, but in store, if you go into Morphe, they're doing a sale, but there is very little stock, which is frustrating but they're doing a sell on their E range. I like to use the bottom to really get that nice seamless blend. And then I will go back over top. And then you can kind of mix between the two. If I'm being honest guys, I my makeup recently has not been rocking my world. It has not been worth rocking my world at all. So I'm gonna start exploring new techniques, new products, I don't know, I just need, I feel like my makeup needs like a shake up. My makeup needs a shake up, it does need a shake up. I'm using this Pillow Talk Lip to Cheek Glow, also from Charlotte. Now two ways you can apply this with your finger and just warm it into your skin. I like this color because it just will blend so beautifully into wherever you've contoured. And recently I've really been loving using a cream and a 
powder blush. It's just my preference. I also feel like a cream blush makes whatever powder you put on top of it just pop 10 times more. Take my contour brush. This is a nice for me. It's almost like a, I don't want to say a jelly per se, but it's stickier than most other cream brushes, uh, blushes, which is nice. Has a nice finish on the skin. That's all my liquids done. And now I like to finish with powders. This is my favorite bit. Powders really brings the whole look together in such a beautiful, beautiful way. So starting first with Huda. Guys, Huda, easy bake in banana bread. Well, oh my God, I've lost the little, the little catcher inside, oh boy. Anyway, this powder will always be, forever be the goat. I go too heavy under the eyes with the powder, but sometimes it's just necessary for that super flawless, for the finish I desire anyway. I'm just gonna put it on my nose, just that I ever to snatch my nose while it bakes. And apologies, I keep looking off. It's because my mirror, so annoying, my mirror is there. Okay, let me move it, there we go. Hopefully less irritating. And I love setting with a sponge. This level of seamlessness you get from a sponge, you just don't get it from anywhere else. And I was using a brush, my alternative for a brush would be the Say brush. This video has just been my makeup therapy. It's been a long time since I've just sat and done my makeup. So it's just like getting into the, the groove again. Like Stella gets her groove back type vibe. Uche gets her groove back. Just bring in my... Just snatching, snatching the top. Snatch, snatch. Taking that same powder to set the eyelid area. Still crazy obsessed with Pat McGrath blush in Cherish. This blush, as you can see, it's cracked a little bit. I just love a nice pale pink that shows up on black people. It's like stunning. And I love to use this Real Techniques brush. Um, I'm not <laughs> this Real Techniques brush. Jeez. It's just stunning. I just feel so pretty. Since I've been doing this pink blush, oh, it's been rocking my world. And I know the TikTok girlies have been loving putting it under the eyes. Because I don't have cool undertone, that would just never work. I have a warm undertone. So putting the pink blush, taking up, doesn't really work for me, but just the way that frames my face, stunning. Like stunning, stunning, stunning. Absolutely love it. I typically don't do powder bronzer. Because I went quite heavy with the cream bronzer. You can do a light patting just to mattify it down if you really want to, but I will typically just kind of leave that like that, get my little brush and... No, no, you guys are thinking, I thought she said she was doing like a, I never said it was natural, I just said I'm doing a lighter, a lighter beat today. But I have to stay true to me, okay? Light, but still true to me. Look, this is what the face is looking like. I'm just gonna go right ahead and apply some brow products. I'm still using my ABH Brow Duo. This is just iconic really, isn't it? This is probably one of the best brow products ever made. And that's another thing actually. I feel like there's a lot, there is a lot of new brow products that I really want to explore. There's a particular soap brow product that I see on TikTok a lot. I need to figure out that, where that is from and then buy it. But this is what I mean by that it's so easy to do your brows after because I just give myself a few fake hairs. Elongate the tail, always elongate the tail. And that's the brows. Brows are looking funky. And the thing is, I just, neatness isn't my objective of brows. I just want them to frame my face. And this is the best way I like to frame my face personally. So I added my beauty marks. I love them, I feel like they make me me. <laughs> I'm just realizing the light is moving all up and down in this place. My deepest apologies, guys. Um, yeah, I like my beauty marks. Another thing that's like me, makes me my brows, my marks. Things that people might not necessarily like, but I'm like, that's cool. That's what I love about makeup. You can have your own signature. And there's just little things that I do, like my upper lip contour thing, my little dots, my brows, it just, that's like my makeup signature that I love and they just 
make me feel pretty. Okay, mascara. Recently, super heavy on the under eye mascara and not that much on the top. That's probably gonna sound weird to you guys. I don't know, I've been loving like a heavy lower lash. I'm just gonna take my Benefit Bad Girl Bang. This is one of the best mascaras on the market. I don't really do too much about high-end mascaras, but this is really worth every single penny. Likewise with the Max Stack mascara. This mascara, oh, they really put their foot in the formula. Wow. Excellent. I recently have been doing lash extensions so much and the last time I just feel like it, it just pulled out most of my lashes. Lash extensions are so convenient for holiday but then when I'm back on holiday I just want them off my eyes immediately. Immediately. Do you know what I'm really loving today? My makeup. I really love my makeup today. I'll be really honest the lip combo is very basic but I've been loving this lip combo. I'm still a creature of habit. I'm going to break out of it. I'm really excited for this new chapter of my life because I can really just get into my makeup creation bag. Ugh, if you guys want to see more of me, if you do, I'm on TikTok a lot. Instagram less so. We need to talk about the Instagram's dying party. It's not dying, it will never die, but it feels like that sometimes. It really sometimes feels like there is not a single soul on Instagram. Sometimes it feels like I'm screaming into the abyss when it comes to posting content on Instagram, but maybe that'll be my next video. Ooh. Talking about the how much the social media landscape has changed and how much of a difference TikTok. TikTok has got the girlies shaking. These apps don't know how to be themselves anymore. They just want to be TikTok, but it's like, we didn't come here for you to be TikTok. We like TikTok because that's TikTok. I like Instagram for what Instagram gives. I like YouTube for community. Why did, was Instagram the only one I didn't give an example? I like Instagram because, this might be an unpopular opinion, I love a curated piece of content. I love a nice, well put together piece of content. But I also love chaos, that's why I love TikTok. Instagram gives me that well put together, it's well curated, it's like very visually enjoyable. That's why I like Instagram. I like YouTube for community, I like vlogs, I like to watch lifestyle videos. Every app has its own thing that it gives you. So I just think why do apps try and emulate or copy or do what makes another app so loved? That's not why people, that's not why people rock with you. Just be yourself, just be yourself. Just be yourself, why are you trying to be someone else? Just be yourself. Double lining process, as always. I'm gonna look back on this footage and realize I looked at you guys all of twice. And I'm so sorry for that. I'm just using a liquid, ugh, Annoyingly, I feel that this has been discontinued, but it might be the best liquid product. There is liquid lip product, there is. Honestly, it's incredible, and it dries so comfortably matte on your skin. It just looks so stunning. It is Starfish from ABH, and I've, I've been asked for a dupe for years. I'm still on the quest. The closest you can probably get is the Fenty it's more of a baby pink, no. Uh, the Fenty, what are these called? You know these little clip lipsticks? The only thing is these are more of a comfortable wearable matte than a flatter matte, if that makes sense. This ABH one is a lot more flat in the sense that it's, like it, it's, it's matte. There's no sort of gloss or dew or any kind of that to it. I'm really struggling, can you see I'm struggling? Oh no, and now I've broken it. I was struggling with my pencil to take the lid off the, and now I've broken it. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really love my makeup set, and I think that's because I used the Black Beauty Blender. I've been saving it because I wanted to, you know, use it for the first time. I'm gonna have to come back to that. I've been saving it because I wanted to use it for the first time on camera, but you can definitely tell when a beauty blender has been used before, whether or not you wash it. So I wanted to have that new beauty blender feeling, and it's just, my makeup just looks so, it's been a long time since I really, really loved the make my makeup the way I love it today. <sighs> Why won't the lid come off? Yes, this is very much on its last legs. Set everything down with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. I only set the sides. I like the center of my face to remain quite matte and, you know, how I put it on. When you put on makeup, for me anyway, when I put on makeup and I set it, there's something the setting spray removes that I don't want it to. So I set the sides, keep the middle nice and 
flat for lack of a better word because it does look a bit flat in the middle um let me just go right ahead and put my wig on and i'll be right back. i'm gonna finish off with one of my favorite parts of getting ready fragrance of course i've got this tom ford bitter Pe peach i love tom ford bitter peach but this isn't all over body spray it just smells so good i use this in my hair i use this in my skin i've been avoiding putting perfume on my neck as well i saw somewhere on tiktok that area is very delicate and then i follow over top with tom ford black Orchid, which is one of my absolute favorite scents. They now do them in these gold bottles. They don't do them in the black bottles anymore. Like so much has changed. And that is me done. That is my completed look. Hair, makeup. I love this makeup. It's just my very simple summer look. Sometimes I like to add a bit of gloss to take it to the next level, if it's necessary. I actually really like the matte vibe, but sometimes the gloss. I didn't hit you guys with the zoom. This is the skin up close. I love her. This is what I mean about layering blushes. This Charlotte Tilbury lip and cheek glow is really pushing through. Like, can you see it just like pushing through the blush I put on top? Gorgeous, that nice, healthy looking to your skin, but your skin is still going to last because of all the powders, but you don't look flat. Oh obsessed love it love it i'll leave all the links in the description box down below things that you need to get this all over body spray oh my god it's so good i took it with me all over the weekend to my festivals my all my shenanigans are on tiktok if you want to see what i go to over the weekend absolutely love it i love the scent as well weirdly i prefer it in a spray than in the perfume i think that's just me being weird but that's just my vibe on that one and then yeah my little perfume and i'm all ready to go not everyday lashes not everyday eyeshadow just sometimes something soft and beautiful you know thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this look i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial little chat it wasn't like my full energy chat but just a little chat to bring me back into the world of filming youtube videos i should have a vlog for you coming at the very minimum i want to document my life now that i'm solo dolo please not forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye bye